Welcome back. All right, so finishing out the collection videos. Yes, I've not forgotten that I was going to do a miscellaneous video about all the other jerseys. Uh, some of these are NHL affiliated via ECHL. A lot of these aren't. Uh, there are jerseys that are not in this room for this video. There's a lot. So I tried to collect what I could just to give people an idea of what I have and what I don't. I do not have any NCAA, just throwing that out there first. I do have a USHL though. This one was sent to me by a subscriber. This is a, a double, X, double extra large storm jersey here, which has got uh, signatures all over it. Uh, it's a 71 Taylor. So yeah, uh, it is it is huge. Uh, when I hold it up like this, uh, the jersey goes past my knees. So if I have a belt around it, it qualifies as a dress. Uh, but at any rate, uh, it's not the only jersey I have in my collection that's like that. All right, uh, getting to OHL and the Sting. So the Sting, this very basic jersey. I do like the logo. I got this one through Sport Check. Sport Check had a bunch of uh, CHL jerseys, which is your Ontario League, Quebec League, and uh, Western Hockey League as well. I only grabbed a couple of them, uh, this being one of those couple. I felt like having a Sarnia jersey. There are some famous hockey players who've played for the Sarnia Sting. So I figured, yeah, I can have a Sarnia jersey there and it shows up in this part of the collection. Uh, also for getting to CHL, this is WHL, so Western Hockey League, and this is Edmonton Oil Kings. I love this jersey. I think this is really nice. Has the Edmonton Oil Kings here on the shoulder and uh, the color I think is really nice. Uh, this from a few years ago. No, they did not copy Dallas with this. If anything, Dallas copied them, although uh, green and black, it's not like they haven't been together before. So I like the logo. I like everything with this one. Really, really sharp jersey. That being part, part of the CHL. Uh, and then you get into the now moved Hamilton Bulldogs. They are no longer in Hamilton. But, uh, I and that's a good thing I got this one. I did, isn't it? Because now uh, it won't be Hamilton. Uh, but yeah, this is of course the uh, replication they made for the Hamilton Bulldogs jersey from when they were in the National Hockey League. That would have been a sweater. Uh, this is the Bulldogs uh, dark jersey. I don't have the white one. And they did not make a change to the logo uh, at all with the move, which is good. They, they shouldn't have to change the logo. But again, I'm glad I got a Hamilton Bulldogs when I did. Uh, this does have the, the Bulldogs logo on the shoulder. Just to differentiate it from it being a, a throwback to a National Hockey League jersey. Uh, the Calgary Hitmen. So now that I'm into just doing the CHL ones first... Uh, this is a Hitman jersey. This is the 25th anniversary. Uh, I got this one actually a few years ago. Uh, I like this one. I like that it's it's really simple. Uh, it's silver and black. And just a blank, of course. All my, almost all of my jerseys are blanks. But again, 25th anniversary. Nicely done. I believe I got this on sale from the, the Hitman website as well. So I was like, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll take that as, as a... You know, a new new addition to the collection, especially being a relatively cheap one. And then we get into Victoria. So, losing the Chilliwack Bruins was painful and all to me as a Chilliwack Bruins fan. But at least the Victoria Royals, nice jerseys here. Uh, the dark and the light version of these jerseys are absolutely fantastic. Love the colors, love the logo. Everything about it is fantastic. So, uh, really, really well done. And it also makes it so that the white logo on a white background doesn't get washed out. It's still, it's it's really nice, nicely done. And uh, yeah, there are some teams that could learn from that. Uh, this one here, this was sent to me as well. This is a uh, Spitfires jersey. So Windsor Spitfires. Uh, this one's an extra large. And so I, I likely won't be wearing that one in videos. Let's see. Does that go past the knees too? Well, it's right at the knees. So, you know, it's not a mini skirt, but it's getting there. Anyways, <laughs> you have um, the the venting here that was popular in the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, and yeah, Windsor Spitfires, a classic right there. Uh, then you get into the Vancouver Giants. So here's a Giants jersey. I'm just looking through here like, all right, where's the other Giants jersey? But uh, this one is a third. Uh, it's very similar. The gold on the, on the arm is very similar to the Buffalo Sabres 50th anniversary. I do like the Johnny Canuck on the front. It's really, really well done. Uh, I think the other Vancouver-based team, if they went with the Johnny Canuck on the front like that, people would like it, but that's the Canucks. This is the Giants. 
So yeah, well done. Of course, CCM, CCM logo on the back as well. And uh, yeah, I appreciate that one. It's a nice one. Uh, let's see, other CHL, that's BCHL, which is different. Oh, this one's Hamilton Bulldogs as well. So this is Bulldogs. This is an interesting one in that it looks very much like the Parlay jerseys. So the All-Star jerseys from a few years back where they had the Parlay, which is recyclable materials, this is almost exactly the same. So good job by the Bulldogs there of, of you know using a design that was popular in the NHL and making a pretty nice jersey out of that. Because those, those were all-star jerseys that sold, and then the following year in St. Louis, they tried to recreate that, and it, it failed miserably. So don't go back to the well too much. Uh, the recently moved ice, so your, your Winnipeg ice jersey right here, uh, very similar to, say, the LA Kings jersey in the National Hockey League currently, although it has blue where that has silver. Not sitting very well there, just trying to fix that up. But yeah, uh, I like this one. As soon as I saw this one on TV, I was like, well, I have to have that jersey. I uh, love the logo. Colors, really, really nice. Really kind of a fantastic one right there. Uh, well, this is BCHL, but it's still Canadian Junior. And that's my Chilliwack Chiefs. So Chilliwack Chiefs have had a logo very, very much similar to this since I was in high school. This is very similar. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, the colors, unique, comparatively speaking, to some of the others. Uh, you've got, of course, advertising. So you've got Home Life here on both shoulders. Uh, BCHL up here. And, of course, the logo is is printed on. It's not a, an actual embroidered logo. I do have some fear that eventually this is what we'll see with sports jerseys. Not just hockey either. That it would be cheaper to produce and you can mass produce them faster and save yourself on all the embroidery costs. I do worry that eventually that's where we're headed. Uh, so that's part of the junior apparatus as well. Those are all WHA. This is OHL. This one was sent to me as well. Uh, Sue Greyhounds. So Sue Greyhounds jersey, uh, very nice one. And colors and stripes similar to Detroit, right? Uh, which again, with junior hockey, that's kind of been a uh, uh, common where you'll look at a junior team and you'll go, okay, I can tell what they're using. Like the Bulldogs, very similar to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, it does feel like now we're seeing more and more junior teams trying to create their own identity and their own colors, which is nice. Uh, the Portland Winterhawks being an example of that, I do not have a Winterhawks jersey. I agree, it's tremendous. It's a cause for tremendous sadness for me. Uh, so with junior, all right. Next up, I will, I will get to this. Humboldt. So there's two Humboldt jerseys I have in here. I know I have a third as well. Uh, this one here has hints on the back. This one I do believe was ordered for me uh, by um, moderators to the channel at the time. So this was back in 2018. Uh, the, the meetups that I have now started with the Humboldt crash, um, deciding to have some kind of a fundraiser and play play floor hockey uh, I felt like, you know, it would be good for the community to come together and raise some money to help out. And and uh, Brody Hintz, uh, whose name is on the back of this jersey, was one of the first subscribers to the channel. He was a regular contributor in the comments section, and it was really upsetting uh, that he passed because he was very young. It was, the accident should never have happened. And so I have this. I do not wear this very often. I will not wear this at a meetup. And I especially would not wear this uh, at, at the Brody Hintz game that we had because uh, I felt like that's, I, I don't like it. It just it just didn't sit well with me. So I was like, no, I, I wouldn't do that. But I do have them in the collection. I wear them sparingly. Um, but yeah, they're still, they're still in here. All right, let, let's get to this. So we're going to be playing games in Australia. And so I, I think that... Um, this needs to be worn for the for the recap video or review video. I may just go back to review. Now it's a large, and when I hold this up to myself, it's a knee length, so not all larges are created equal. Uh, this is from my friend, who shall remain nameless, um, who I, I got a text from a while ago, and then I didn't get a call. Uh, but hey, you know, he said he'd call me. So at some point in time, Mike, expect... 
anyways, uh, that being said, uh, this is this is fantastic. Uh, I like this one a lot. Uh, yeah, Australia. It's this. This is the most. I think. I think this would qualify as the most unique jersey in my collection. And yeah, I I I do wish it was more in my size though. Based on the sizing of this, I would have to be a small. Have to be because it's just they're they're so long. All right, I think that's it for the national team jerseys. This one here, I know this one was sent to me. Uh, this is a a Yermer Yager. This is a Cladno jersey. I love this logo. I would love to see this jersey minus advertisements. And so when people talk about NHL jerseys and where they could be headed, this is always the fear. The fear is that this is where you end up if you start allowing any advertising. I can't see the NHL ever allowing this. Uh, it's too bad, too, because this logo should, of course, be a little further up. It should be more centered. Uh, but that logo is fantastic, so I'll say that. And again, it is it is a Yermer Yager jersey. So I have that in here. I take care of it. I, I, I generally don't have a reason to wear it. Like when he eventually retires, which I, I think I'll still be around when he retires, I, I can wear that, but he hasn't retired yet. All right, so let's do a couple of ECHL here. Uh, so Toledo Walleye, this, the, the logo is fantastic. And the Orlando Solar Bears, uh, this purple jersey, this is, this is one of my favorites. I, I love this jersey. Um, maybe, maybe a stripe too many, but who cares? It's the colors are fantastic. You've got the light blue, the purple and the white, uh, and the Toledo walleye. Absolutely fantastic logo. Uh, these of course being blanks, uh, but these are, these are nice. I believe this is ECHL, right? The AK, uh, manufactured jerseys are normally ECHL. Yeah. ECHL right in here. ECHL. So sharp, sharp Jersey. And I apologize that it it was not in with the team that's their that's their parent club. Okay, we'll get into those after. This one here, this was this is from again my friend who shall who shall remain nameless. Uh, this one is a size large. So again, yep, knee length. Uh, but this is your 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 Belfast Giants. I think that's great. I do. I think that's fun. So Belfast. Uh, I do have a Belfast jersey, and again, we can discuss the advertising. The advertising is a lot. Uh, there's a lot of advertising on these jerseys in general, and that is the fear that you end up with jerseys that look like NASCAR. And it doesn't help when you have Tom Dundon saying, and I, I think this was a couple years ago now that he said it, basically like, well, you know, what's wrong with jerseys if they look like NASCAR? It's not a big deal. Read the room. All right, my one KHL jersey, Yokerit. I I like this one too. Uh, you know what's funny is if if you have the the Carolina Hurricanes stadium jersey, this is kind of similar. But I I really like the logo on this, and I also I appreciate no advertising, none. So this is a jersey that I ordered uh, about what was it, a year year oh, yeah a little over a year ago now, uh, supporting the team and all that, and so yeah. Yoker it. There you go. See, I have European jerseys. Because I do get the question of whether or not I have European jerseys. And I do. Uh, then I'll do this one next. Rail Yard Dogs. Uh, this was something I had to have when I heard about the Rail Yard Dogs and Roanoke. And just the SPH SPHL in general. I was like, I have to have an SPHL team to root for. And so it's the Rail Yard Dogs. Uh, this again, it's a blank. I ordered this one through the team store. Uh, it was, it was a challenge for me to find and, and secure myself a Jersey, but I did it. It's, it's very similar in its design to the Buffalo Sabres and its design and its colors and whatnot, but still love the logo quite a bit. And yeah, I think that's, that's really fun. It's, it's the only Roanoke, Roanoke one I have now, but I do want other Roanoke jerseys as well. All right. So we'll get back into Iowa because I haven't done an Iowa jersey in a while. And there's your Heartlanders. Uh, these these both appeared, I believe, in the top 101, and rightfully so. That logo is fantastic. The only one I don't have so far is the cream-colored jersey of this design. At that point, I got all of the Heartlanders jerseys. Whoever designs their jerseys, fantastic job. Absolutely fantastic. This is uh, with the prairie rose, that is as close to perfect as, as I think I can see. And again, 
a different color scheme, different look. I always appreciate when a team has a different look. Now, WHA. So I do have WHA jerseys. Uh, this is my Cleveland Crusaders. Uh, people know I do like purple jerseys, so this works. I think the logo's all right. WHA logos weren't fantastic. In general, there were some that were really nice. This one's great, but some of them, yeah. But again, it was an upstart league, and maybe they didn't have very much time. Maybe it was, hey, uh, we're going to be in the ace in 10 minutes. Can you just get something ready? But at any rate, uh, I like this jersey quite a bit. Uh, just think Jerry Cheevers wore that at one point in time. I believe he was a Cleveland Crusader. Uh, this is the Minnesota Fighting Saints. So I do believe there are hockey cards out there of John Garrett wearing this. At the very least, pictures of John Garrett wearing this. Uh, the, the WHA jerseys I got through uh, Sports K. Uh, Sports K jerseys. Uh, they still have WHA jerseys. Uh, they are cheaper than the NHL ones because they're manu manufactured by K1. I do wish that the, that the NHL would do a WHA throwback of some kind. I don't think that'll ever happen. I think the closest we're ever going to get is when, you know, like the Jets did, the Heritage jerseys, which are throwbacks to the WHA days. I don't think the NHL is ever going to do an actual WHA uh, line, which is too bad. I, I think that's honestly a missed opportunity on their part. I think they would sell, and the Minnesota Fighting Saints, I think, would be one of them. So the Blazers, uh, they moved around a bit. Uh, they were in Vancouver at one point. <clears throat> The fact that it just says Blazers and there's no other logo on it means you can move the team. You want to move it? Sure. Uh, so, again, uh, K1, same manufacturer, got it the same place. Uh, colors are a little different. Uh, and they just they had a hard time finding a market where it was going to work. So, Blazers don't end up coming over to the NHL. And then, last but not least, tragically, Cincinnati Stingers are not a thing. Um, I do like the Cincinnati Stingers. I think the logo is different. Uh, the colors are not different. The colors are very Boston Bruins-ish. But there are some, some Hall of Famers that played for the Cincinnati Stingers during their brief existence. And again, it's it's a very Boston-looking jersey. I don't think that's an accident either. But uh, yeah, so Cincinnati, WHA, that rounds things out. And for anybody wondering, this this t-shirt is The Warning. And if you haven't listened to The Warning, uh, I highly recommend it. The band's fantastic. Uh, I almost wore my Hailstorm based on somebody thinking that it looked like a death metal t-shirt. I don't have, I don't listen to death metal. Uh, I really don't. Uh, but yeah, the warning, I absolutely listen to them. I think they're, they're awesome. So uh, that finishes out the look at the jersey collection for 2023 for people who watch the whole collection. Thank you very much. It uh, means a lot to me. For people who didn't, well, welcome to this video. Thanks for watching whatever you did watch. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your support as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Channel just passing 289,000 subscribers a couple days back. And that's thanks to all you people who comment, who like videos, share videos, and bring other people into uh, the THG community. So thank you guys so much for all your work. Uh, and I will talk to you again soon.